Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction. If you are new here, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, I've been documenting my journey through K-pop as a newbie, uh, and I've been joined by my two lovely co-hosts, Alex and Therese. Uh, so come join us live on Twitch at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that is the best way to catch the full stream and all of the songs on our playlist. Um, as well as that, uh, this video will be broken up into a few different parts, uh, and it will be all uploaded onto youtube here so feel free to check out the playlist down there uh if you want to know when we're going live uh the best way to check that out is our youtube community tab uh we post our schedule pretty frequently so come hang out if you can come hang out on twitch i know some people live internationally so uh hopefully you can watch these videos uh and if you do want to watch the full video uh come join us on patreon uh that will also be linked in the description uh that will be the full video without any cuts so if you want to sign up for that be greatly appreciated and we would appreciate the love as well too um but yeah come join us live our next one is very soon so we'd love to see you in chat if at all possible so uh thank you for watching this video and thank you to army for showing up you guys are awesome and we hope to see you in a future deep dive so enjoy the video and uh catch you in the next one bye hello hello it is your boy brandon from audio addiction i am a toddler to k-pop thank you for joining me on my journey and of course I'm spent with the lovely Alex and Therese. How are we doing on this Wednesday? Ooh. Ooh. Excited. Excited, yeah, for sure. Thanks for everyone pulling up for the first part of BTS day one. That was insane. And if you are watching it, cool. Wow. I, I was floored. So feel feel very uh feel very welcomed into Army. So very Been nice. Good so far. Been good so Hello. far. Hello. Everyone uh, hanging out in chat, everyone joining us for the first time. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much. We did change yeah. our background because we got mentions of like visual triggers and we totally don't want to trigger anyone, um, harm anyone. So we've changed it. Uh, it's fine. Going to be much chiller now. So good vibes. Yeah. We love it. Uh, rap line was great on Monday. If you missed out and you didn't watch it, you can go watch it on YouTube. Uh, we probably I will be uploading all of the other stuff onto Patreon. So if you would like to watch it, ad free, full songs, all that sort of stuff, those will all be going up on Patreon. So um, feel free to check the link in YouTube for that. I'll probably try to leave a link here on Twitch later on. But uh, yeah, super super stoked. We are finally jumping into vocal line here. So uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Um, Cabbage Dynamite, hey, thanks for uh, showing up. This is cool. Uh, it's it's 1 a.m. for me. I'm up <laughs> watching your reaction. Super tuna then sleep. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank Not you. Not your it's priorities. Crazy. I appreciate yeah, it. Don't mess up your sleep schedule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll go up on YouTube, but but thanks for hanging out. Yes, yeah. appreciate it. Thanks awesome. for uh, White Rabbit and uh, Sarah Distick. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate it. Very really cool, very cool. It. Well, let's go 1 a.m. Wow, there's a lot of people. <laughs> 1, 1 a.m. Squad. squad. Oh, my rise God. Rise up. 1 a.m. Squad. Rise up. It's um, nice. Oh, man. Yeah, please. Okay, well, I want to start off with the the obligatory statement. Um, the intent of these videos is to inform and discuss BTS as musical artists, whether you're curious about K-pop or BTS, whether you're an avid fan or an avid critic. Um, as long as we're all respectful of one another, yeah. you're all welcome. So, yeah. How are you feeling about bts brandon this is oh all new to you still i think it's great i was super pumped uh obviously we got through the rap line part one and uh man couldn't be more stoked they were it was it was impressive at least for me to know how like talented they are in regards to like you know what type of music they make because again my familiarity with it is just like oh they have done these like immensely popular like songs and so i feel like it gives a really good perspective on what i feel like most people would just assume bts is but have no knowledge of so it's nice that to get like the homework and getting all of the things that people have suggested in like comments and stuff uh i think it truly gives another dimension to how like immensely talented they are as as individuals and obviously as people too so it's it's been awesome 
to do that and also again shout outs to everybody in army that have been so welcoming uh it's truly truly a cool experience so thanks for that appreciate it love it awesome um i'll start off with uh if you are just now getting into this video we are live on twitch we did a video before this that was all about the bts rap line and if you're new to bts in general bts stands for bangtan sonyeondan translates to bulletproof boy scouts they're a self-produced hip-hop idol group based out of south korea there are seven members and uh Last video, we learned about RM, Suga, and J-Hope. Today, we'll, we will learn about Jin, Jungkook, Lee, and Jimin. Um, they debuted on June 13th, 2013. They are all Korean, but can speak some English. And their fandom name is ARMY. So, Ooh. thank you yeah. to all of the ARMY that found us. Um, yeah, oh my god. We, we actually asked you guys to gatekeep us last video, but that didn't work. So, I guess... <laughs> we'll try again. <laughs> I guess uh, bring all bring all the cool people here. Yeah, hey, sure. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate all of your comments. Um, like I said before, I am a Love Yourself era army. I am the uh, designated army to guide these uh, internet people through through the discography of BTS, and uh, we can't react to all 350 songs that they have. Um, but I can put together playlists of the most important songs as you guys give me recommendations. Um, I definitely appreciate those. Keep bringing them. And uh, yeah, I noticed in the last video, y'all really wanted to talk about their underdog story. And I said that we weren't going to talk about it because um, honestly, it's, it's kind of triggering. But we will definitely talk about it in the next video because... I don't want it to come across as thinking it's not an important part of their career. They were underdogs and they did have to face a lot of criticisms and dis discrimination, but we will touch on that in the next video, uh, which will be on June 13th on our anniversary. Um, yeah. So I also wanted to try something different in this video. <laughs> um, I have my beyond the storybook, which is their ah. like, um, 10 year record. And instead of, uh, throwing out facts that I know off the top of my head, I actually put quotes from the book in this presentation <laughs> of a sort so that we don't get confused with what are my thoughts and opinions and what are the facts or ha as it's told by them. I think they tell their story very well. And I have a lot of issues trying to express myself with words. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to rely on the book as a major... Uh, reference and also some of the interviews they did in um you quiz on the block so those are my sources um the book yes Woo. yeah very cool well therese can you run down the songs we're gonna be doing tonight for for sure. uh, vocal line um, I posted the playlist earlier in our community tab, and I got some comments uh, for the first video, which I did actually switch out because of your comments. You guys can change the world. Uh, <laughs> but we will dive into BTS Epiphany, um, which is a Jin solo track. We will be diving into the live version, as requested. Uh, we'll also get into Jin Super Tuna, Jin Astronaut, BTS Euphoria, which is Jungkook's solo track, live. Uh, Jungkook yeah. standing next to you performance video, BTS Singularity the MV, um, V slow dancing, oh. BTS Lie a performance video, and Jimin like crazy. Um, oh, and two vocal unit songs, uh, BTS House of Cards and BTS The Truth Untold. Oh, the okay. reason I didn't everyone has a live video except for V, and I feel bad because he is a really amazing performer. But um, that song is really important to him as an artist, I think uh, it doesn't sound great live, not because he doesn't sing it well, but because the sound quality is a lot lower and he sings in a lower register. So it's harder to pick up his voice. So that is my reasoning. I fully say, go watch the Singularity live performance. It's amazing. But yeah, and while we're getting into each of the members, I will go over kind of how they joined based on my source, the book, um, <laughs> and uh, what is popular about those members or what, yeah, what makes them 
who they are. Cool. Very nice. I'm excited because um, I, I guess to to clarify for anyone who doesn't know, I, I I'm I've been a K-pop fan for like ten years. Um, kind of casual with BTS, I would say. Like I got into them um, with Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and sort of just been like I, I kind of listened and pay attention to most groups uh, inconsistently. So I'm familiar with a handful of stuff like title tracks and stuff, but I actually don't really know too much um, on like individual performances or mm. solo stuff. And I definitely don't know much of Jin. So I'm happy that we're doing like three Jin songs. Cause I, I really, other than the astronaut, I really don't think I'm very familiar with him. Um, yeah. Like the rappers, I think I have a little more familiarity with, and I really liked, uh, Jungkook's recent um, album a lot, so very familiar with that too. And I think um, like Jin V and Jimin are actually going to be a little bit uh, new for me as soloists. Awesome! So I'm very excited. Cool. Okay. And of course, Brandon knows nothing, which is I don't. why we're all here. <laughs> it's it makes it very fun. We appreciate you. Also, um, hope that it serves as a opportunity for people who have thought of bts as this huge like group to delve into i would hope this this i serve as kind of a guinea pig to hopefully allow you to feel like you can join me on my journey into you know finding out about bts because there's plenty of stuff on that service level that i feel like everybody knows but the underlying stuff i don't feel like enough people know about so i i'm i'm stoked I probably have heard some Jungkook songs just on happenstance, but yeah, I, not intentionally. So um, it's probably my fault if he has. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mari, uh, we are doing an entire month on BTS, so we'll be doing some more stuff. You can check uh, YouTube community tab. We basically have it all laid out for the most part. So right, and I, and I know Therese already clarified it, it's there there's no way we can do every song ever but we're definitely doing uh requests at some point in the month i think you uh just check the schedule so if there's songs like we're definitely missing or songs that need to be covered that we're um you know skipping either due to time constraints or just to uh that don't make sense maybe in the, the part that we're doing uh there's definitely a time for them so don't worry don't think that we will never get to something yeah uh, we have a whole month dedicated just to bts and then you know nothing stopping us from doing more after so sure yeah would agree but we do um deep dive into a lot of different k-pop groups so you can check those out on the channel as well or uh, if i you... also wanted to oh. ask oh sorry <laughs> i was gonna say if if you really want to if you stick around and hang out you get channel points you can throw it onto our wheel and we check them out you know, when we do wheel spins. So if you feel like we, you need to hear more BTS from us, then absolutely throw them on there. And, you know, I feel like we got we got a pretty welcoming crew here. So feel free to yeah, we stick have around. A lot of new people, which I'm excited about. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys while you're here, would you be uh, interested in taking up song slots over the next month to show videos of their achievements, like their billboard acceptance speech or whatever acceptance speech usually? Um, or do you want to keep it to just the music? Because I feel like it's all pretty important to them and their career. So let us know. Do you have an opinion, Alex? Uh, I, I was wonder. I was trying to understand, I guess, what you were pointing out, but I think I figured it out. You mean like... I guess like important speeches they've made or important career basically like happenings the, that aren't technically performances or music. Right. So basically like at the beginning of career, like their Variety UN shows, speech or something. They show, yeah. They show little clips of all of their major achievements. So those where those clips are coming from, I guess. Okay. But, um, okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll skip them and just do uh music. Cause the music does speak for itself. Um, but I'll go ahead and give a little intro to Jin. Um, cool. Let's go. Because he is our star member today. He did get three slots of songs. We only have 11 songs today because I noticed we were running over in the last video. Um, <laughs> but uh, we got to get through everything. So 
Kim Sok Jin, his stage name is Jin. Uh, he is from Guancheng, which I don't know where that is in Korea, but you, you guys can let me know. Um, and he was basically, uh, oh, he's the oldest member, which is important. But oh, he yeah. uh, was basically recruited off of a bus for being so handsome. So <laughs> the direct quote I'm using from you, uh, you quiz on the block was, uh, I was getting off the bus and you can see that I'm very handsome from very far away. Uh, the casting director saw me as I was getting off a bus and said, wow, I've never seen a face like yours before. Um, heavy exaggeration <laughs> inside that. Uh, and later on in the Beyond the Story book, he says, I was fooled. Uh, they'd said, look at how idols these days go into acting. We'll let you become an actor eventually. That's how they convinced me. They were very persuasive. So <laughs> <laughs> I like... Um, the quotes from Jim because I think he's one of the funniest members of BTS, which is not fair because he's extremely handsome. <laughs> and <laughs> that's like, what I have heck? to look, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. So he, uh, he is the oldest member, which in Korean culture usually means like you have to take care of everyone. And that kind of ended up being the major role for him in the group. He, joined the dorm and he would start cooking and cleaning to help everyone get a sense of like normalcy in their lives but uh there was a quote he had from um the book that says in the t summer of 2012 when he entered dorm life Jin had no choice but to change his entire lifestyle uh clothes strewn everywhere cereal scattered on the floor the dishes hadn't been done uh, after about three months there, I finally realized why they had come to live the way they did. We'd be working like 14 hour days. So Ooh. fully understandable. <laughs> really appreciate oh. uh, everything he does for the group. And he is coming back from the military. The first member we have back, he'll be back on June 13th. Let's go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Jin. <laughs> Is Jin He's um vocalist? Is Jin Mr. Worldwide Handsome? Jin is Mr. Worldwide Handsome. Oh, that is his okay. uh, legal government name. <laughs> Actually, no, but no, uh, that'd be yes, great. Kind of. I mean, he just pulls out his card. Him, I mean, you know, hey. When they introduce him, the first thing they say is "Worldwide Handsome Jin." I mean, so. yeah, I, mean, I, I remember that, like when I I remember when I would see like variety show things like when they would come to the U.S. back in the day. <laughs> Someone would always introduce themselves as that, but I wasn't paying like enough attention attention to know like <laughs> who or what or anything. I just remember hearing that all the time. I thought it was really funny. Uh, I love it. That's a great nick. Yeah, it's a great nickname. Independence so. Day. Jin Dependence. <laughs> that was good. Are you celebrating Jin Dependence oh. Day? Yeah. Th real quick, this is a really cute sort of story but he uh announced when he came back from the military he's going to do a performance um that uh people can i think win a raffle to get into uh you guys can correct me um but basically uh the part of the performance by his request is uh a time of light hugs with army and if you don't want to hug you can handshake but the raffle was going to like who how many people get to hug him and at first it, it, the company was like you got to buy these albums in this time period and then they uh, they ended up changing that multiple times where it's like actually if you already have an album it's okay actually if you own an album from the past like 10 years it's okay <laughs> oh and God, i can I qualify. only imagine <laughs> it is from his request <laughs> <laughs> you get to hug Jin, Alex. There you go. Wait, I qualify. I'm going. Do you have a? Oh, you have to have a membership, an official membership. Oh. I can get one. I can get one. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Time to buy. Jin stocks We're are high. I miss you in the stream. It's never been a better time to buy. Me. Never been a better time to buy. <laughs> we love it. Oh. That's awesome. Well. I think it's time. Are we 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 rocking with the first one? All right, this is this is Epiphany. Let's let's go. Live version.
Man, whoo! All right, cool. We're not Ooh. gonna get into the next one yet, guys. Not yet. All right, very nice. That was Epiphany from Jin. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna cook since this is what you came here for. Um, mm -hmm. Wow, what a commanding vocal! Like, there's something really, there's something really inherently nice about like his vocal quality and I appreciate he started off the song in like more of a somber tone and kind of built the like energy around it. 
uh, I also appreciated his like vocal technique. I think he kind of went in from like head voice to like falsetto voice, and the transition between the two was like so seamless. It didn't even feel like he was just like switching over, but you could definitely hear like the the vibe switch, which was really really great. Um, but like that last like big anthemic chorus and him holding out like that really large like chest voice like vocal belt was incredible you could definitely tell there was like a lot of motion behind it like the song was definitely uh driving more in that direction and um just that shot of him like <laughs> directly on i was like i know why people like him you know i felt swooned <laughs> you know uh so i i was good you know i was feeling some things but uh it was very nice oh my god this was a very special performance and I think the fact that it was live and all the like live instrumentations, you got like some great string work. Like to me, it just kind of encapsulates his like his energy. So I uh, definitely about this. This was awesome. Great one to start it off with that, arguably. I agree. I, I'm happy that um, the live version of this was chosen because I, as like an introductory to Jin, I think it is definitely like helpful for me at least to experience his voice without any like like production assistance or anything that could be like hiding um like normally what would be like inconsistencies in voice or like fixing someone's voice but i think when you hear it live like in a ballad like this you hear it very raw and he sounds really good i assume just as good as the recording which i haven't heard but um yeah, it was really impressive, uh, especially because I, I've seen people talking about in chat about how he was not a singer prior to um, yeah, he was BTS. Acting. Yeah, so that's really impressive to, I mean, go from literally zero to that in any amount of time, uh, sure. especially how short of a time relatively that he did. Um, so that was pretty really impressive. I thought the... I agree with Brandon's points on him having like a very like commanding voice and just like overall stage presence to be out there. I mean, I struggle talking to 30 people on the internet. <laughs> I mean, it's up there alone <laughs> playing in a, in a stadium to 50,000, 60,000, 70,000. It's insane. So yeah. <laughs> hats, hats off to him. That's, that's impressive. Agreed. For sure. So we typically do not react to live performances unless the quality is decent because we like to listen to the music and get a lot from the production of the music. Um, this is one of those cases where it sounds pretty close to the studio version. So I had no qualms adding it on. I had, uh, yep. Um, <laughs> we, we like to talk about the producers on the track. And this is one of those songs that uh, Jin himself might not have participated directly. He's not listed in the credits, mm -hmm. but it's apparent that this was written for Jin because um, because of the lyrics. Like it's, uh, <laughs> I f finally realized. So I love me, not so perfect, but I'm so beautiful is essentially the lyric mm. of like showing himself like. And he, he confides a lot in uh, Bang Shiyuk, their producer, Bang PD, um, like any kind of, what's the word? Like, he said that he confides in him. Like, if like he a mentor relationship, down. maybe? Yeah. But also okay. just like if he's not feeling great about himself. Like a confidant? And, um, yeah. And Bang PD has pushed him to make his own music to try and work through that. And um, he has, if you want to check out Abyss on Ooh. Spotify now um, but I think this is one of those cases where you have to have someone tell you that you're beautiful before you believe it yourself and then in this case write a song for them and this is my own interpretation that this happened but if you write a song for someone and then they have to sing the, to themselves that they are beautiful they start to believe it and now if he goes into any variety show any kind of like 
event where he's getting interviewed, he'll literally walk in and say, hi, I'm the superstar Jin. I am very handsome. And it breaks all the tension. Everyone's like, oh, okay, we don't have to talk about that. Like, this guy already knows. It's so nice. <laughs> and it's refreshing to <laughs> hear someone talk about themselves. This is funny. Way. Yeah. So um, I really appreciate it. The other thing I did want to note that I, I forgot to mention was uh, the lyrically – the song i for some reason maybe it's like the kind of music i listen to when i hear epiphany i usually think of like sad songs this mm. is a good epiphany ah, and i like yeah, the good. like subversion of like the lyrical direction so I, I appreciate it being like a positive epiphany song yeah. yeah um the other people that worked on this track were adora and guess who slow rabbit <laughs> oh um, let's go yeah the uh, big famous slow rabbit, stand slow rabbit. But uh, I really wish they had the orchestra on the studio version because I don't think it is for most of the track. Aww. It's just kind of piano and um, guitar. So I like the strings. I want more strings in my songs. Ever since we did G Friend, I'm like, oh, I need more. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, Empress April, thanks for joining. Uh, and also thank you for the sub. Uh, they said Suga talked about none of them having vocal training prior to BTS, FYI. That's crazy because they're all – I've heard a smattering of some songs, but, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. I mean, they were meant to be a hip-hop group. Why would they need that's to That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, why would they – now, yeah, now they're yeah. multi-global multi, uh, here, so love to see it. I don't know where I was getting at with that, but we're keeping it moving here. We're going to move oh, on yeah. to the next one here, which is another Jin song. This is not an official release, but it is on Spotify. Oh. <laughs> this was a song that Jin released when it was his birthday. He just dropped this on his birthday as like a little gift. So oh, nice. It's short. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a minute and 12 seconds. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Re recently? uh i forgot when it was like 2021 i think okay okay so not like not like while he was in his mil in the military birthday no not not during military service okay okay 2021 uh terry oh. said that did it cool <laughs> cool all right awesome let's uh let's rock uh dang says uh Jin loves fishing <laughs> Oh. oh god Now I know why people right. were talking about Super Tuna. I was like, I thought I was having an aneurysm. I was like, why are people talking about Super Tuna? What is this? The I don't absolute know. Absolute banger genius <laughs> track. This 100% gives like a uh, mobile game, <laughs> like intro music vibes. And now I need the Jin Super Tuna video game. Ooh, to oh, the, song. the mobile that game. Would be yeah. A good video game. Like, <laughs> like the gin mobile fishing game where you just have to keep trying to catch the biggest tuna. It's a free hey. idea. Somebody take it. That's great. Yeah, somebody. Alex, I'll give you two guesses on who produced this track. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> um... Is it a normal BTS producer? Uh, Under the same umbrella. Oh, okay. 
Man, you're really gonna have Alex <laughs> sweat he's going live. Through, he's going through all the lists of producers he knows. <laughs> it's not a long list. Oh boy. <laughs> but if he's wrong though. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume that it, it's sugar. No, it was Bumzu. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't have guessed that, but it'd be really okay. funny if it was sugar. Yeah, it would have been funny if it was sugar. So, uh... <laughs> It's all right. Brandon, what did you think about Super Tuna? <laughs> I love it. I think it, you, could, you could give me, like, if somebody has a 24-hour loop of this song, I would gladly take it. <laughs> it's great. This oh, is, yes. Jin did produce it, too. This is, this is, like, a, yeah. this is like, a 13 out of 10. This 13 out of 10. This shouldn't be this hype and this good. Like, because uh -huh. you're like, oh, it's a short song. It's a minute and 12 seconds. And I was like, eh you know i don't know is it gonna is it gonna like it, it mentally is it gonna live up to the hype nah this is great now i feel like yeah. i'm a super tuna now yeah i mean i i think it like it has a purpose right it's not supposed to be like the showcase the gym sure, showcase. Yeah. i think it's more of like a a fan slash personality piece and i think for that it it does a lot because prior to I mean, prior to us watching the, um, like the ballad perf live, live performance we just watched, like I don't really and like knowing his, how he talks in interviews and stuff, I don't really know much about him. So sure. this definitely yeah. gives a lot of personality to the to the voice and, you know, going forward. So I appreciate it. I would agree. Yeah. You know, uh, I also loved his little fish thing that he had on his like the he little got that from plush Target. fish. It's a dog toy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it even better i respect yeah. his i re, i fuck with his vision I, I remember there were a ton of army going to target to buy this dog toy just <laughs> just so they could do a super tuna just i yeah. just imagine like going to target and they're like do you do you just show them your phone and you're like do you have this toy and they're like oh, sorry we sold out um yeah my dog yeah. really wants this toy and they're just like sorry you we, it's on back order target, now target oh my is God. A, a haven for for army meetups <laughs> <laughs> especially since they started like selling only, their albums there only bts can cause a, a shortage <laughs> of dog toys yeah. it's like on the news they're just like your local target probably doesn't have this dog toy here's yeah. the reasons why and then it's just like yeah. a bunch of like army is just standing outside of posted up in front of a target oh, oh my god yeah they're um, like what are you Brandon, in line to I buy I'm in like I'm in line to buy this dog toy because I saw Jin was wearing it in this music video. Here, look, and then just Don't shows it. Don't call us out like that, Brandon. It's not, not bad. I'm a part of like if I existed during that time, you bet your ass I would be in line buying that dog toy. <laughs> yeah, you would you would have bought one for sure. I would have. And then yeah. you would have done a dance cover for the five thousand followers that you're about to. Get. <laughs> Stop! Don't say that. Um, <laughs> but. I don't think we ever actually introduced um, the genre of uh, uh, trot to you, have we? No, I don't think Definitely so. Definitely not. Okay, well, this is this is your first trot song. Um, this is a genre of Korean music that it's it's kind of like enka if you've listened to that from Japan. Um, mm. It's the traditional sounding, popularized, usually popular with a, an older audience sure. kind of kind of genre but it's always very high energy with uh very like punchy uh, mm. rhythms but it's 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 so interesting that it's like very different from k-pop it's like very different from k-pop high energy yep. it's still high uh, energy though i love it yeah it, it's really interesting it's like and it's su and when Teresa is popular it's like super super popular yeah like, like there it's are like the, like the most that are out charting new jeans and bts yeah most popular <laughs> genre you haven't heard of i all i saw was useful comment uh was uh, i can recommend some trot k-pop songs and a lot of kick, maybe please. we can do <laughs> otsukare in our oh you know what maybe not i don't know if it's licensed under a japanese label. oh we'll but find may, out. maybe that'll be an upload to patreon we are working on a patreon to get the reactions uploaded that got taken down <laughs> um yeah Hopefully that will happen this stream. I've been trying to go through and double check with YouTube. Yes. So. Yes. All right. Also, I feel like I have to point this out. I also got a fish on me, so you know, I'm I'm part of Jin's nice. yeah, Let's go. fish gang, you know. So shout outs. Anyway. Let's keep it moving. 
We got Astronaut next. So This is his uh, official solo debut. He literally dropped this and then went into the military. But um, cool. it was uh, composed by uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay. Um, and he basically admitted that BTS was his muse. <laughs> uh, and he was like, I want to write a song for you guys. Uh, and it ended up being for Jin. They performed together in Brazil, I think. Um, it was a beautiful performance. So cute. So, yeah. Chris is 100% a Jin fanboy. <laughs> yep. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, Argentina. Thank Very you. cool. Very cool. And also, he has a cameo in this video. So we'll have to try to locate yep. Chris. So, all right. Very nice. Let's get into the astronaut. Thanks for staying up, Cabbage. <laughs> Appreciate it. Wasn't that hard to find? It wasn't that hard, yeah. When I meet you, there is no one else. I can't have it to myself. When I meet you, there is no
Aw. That was very nice. All right, cool. Well, that was The Astronaut by Jin. If you're just joining us tonight. Very cool. Um, I guess I'll start. I thought this was, and you said this was written with Chris Martin of Coldplay. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, I think uh, Army can check me on this, but I think Chris said that he wrote it for Jin. Oh, okay. Um, and then Jin added the Korean lyrics. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Um, I was gonna say it felt very Coldplay esque, and I, obviously knowing that is now from Chris Martin, it makes sense. Um, which I don't mind. I've Funnily enough, I really do enjoy Coldplay a lot um, as artists. Um, but I thought his vocal tone, especially hearing like live, you know, we heard the live performance of Epiphany and now getting to hear kind of like more of a, you know, more uh, studio version of a song. Um, I think his voice carries super well. Um, I love that he's kind of got like this sort of warmth to his vocals that I didn't really get to like pick out as much in a live performance, but like in a studio setting, there's just something about like his, the way that he's like sings and like communicates his emotions in the song is really nice. And I think it it almost feels weirdly enough, like a warm hug kind of in that way, which I love. Um, I also appreciate the way they stylize his vocals a lot because there is a lot of parts where they, I feel like they layered his like more mid, like mid to high range tones. And then he also did kind of like a lower like level as well. And the way that they mix them together was really nice because it gives you this kind of like full effect on his vocal styling that I really appreciate. And then to also incorporate Chris in as well, just to have his vocal tone that is also very unique and very distinct was also nice because I wasn't. I wasn't expecting him to have any part in this song other than just writing it or, you know, helping to write it. But it was really it was really a nice addition that I think also elevated the song that much more. Um, but, yeah, this was great. I think this is definitely emotionally commanding. Um, and I think he does a really great job of kind of conveying a lot of like really solid emotions and in, in, in the way that he he does. And also his like, again, his uh performance in the music video was also very cool i was surprised not many people stopped for him in the like hitchhiking scene i was like damn you're not gonna stop for gin bro i would have stopped for gin yeah be for real i would have i would have hit reverse and been like hey i got you you know couldn't pass me up (laughs) all right um so i i thought i'd heard this before uh turns out i have not heard this before oh um, what are you listening to? I don't. I don't know. Probably universe. The, <laughs> the Coldplay song. I have heard that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like Brandon. Am uh, a fan of Coldplay. Uh, as much as uh, people meme on them a bit, I love. Yeah. Uh, what was that album? A head full of dreams. I think. Oh, that's a good one. It's yeah. Such a good album. Um. So anytime you get like a feature or like a co-write credits or anything from uh, a group or a band i like i'm always excited to get into it um i agree that i thought his uh vocals and like the tone shift from chris at the end or like the addition of the tone at the end were a really nice touch um but i really like how this song like the the beat of the song and i think youthful mentioned in chat that it was produced or co-produced by kaigo Ooh. Um, who is a very popular, I think, I think very popular. I, I know who they are. Uh, DJ mm. who has written, I, I know like worked on songs for Selena Gomez and uh, a bunch of other, uh, very large artists. Um, I like their style. They do pop, like pop EDM kind of songs in where they keep things very minimalistic and let the vocalists like speak for themselves. And I think they did a really good job of producing this with Jin to like highlight his vocals um, without it being like a super slow song or a ballad mm-hmm. with like still having some like energy to it, but also maintaining like emotion and uh, being able to show off, you know, he's a vocalist. Um, that and I thought the message of the song was really nice as well. It's I think really we're sweet. 
three for three on on messages that I like from Jin so far. <laughs> Fish. Oh yeah, uh, we didn't talk about the lyrics in Tuna, yeah. but. <laughs> well, well lyrics no it back. lyrics no message super tuna yeah <laughs> facts it transcends language um yeah i support that uh you'll notice uh, oh did you have more sorry time? i was just gonna say that i i i can't believe i haven't heard this because uh i don't know what i was saying I, I don't know if i was confusing it with uh universe or like i just had thought i heard it and hadn't or something but uh i'm glad we <laughs> checked it out I, I think it's really good i added it to my playlist already ah yeah. let's go um you'll notice uh that there's a lot of like references to universe the universe the galaxy in a lot of bts songs um i think part of that is the light sticks like they're used to seeing a ton of light sticks so mm. it looks like stars um but army can actually explain a little more on why there are so many universe references but in particular Jin had a song on one of their more recent albums a map of the soul seven that was called moon and it was really a gorgeous song maybe if we have time at the end of the day we can listen to it but uh the lyrics are basically like to you i am just a moon a tiny star of yours that brightens up your heart but you are my earth, and all I see is you. So he's Aww. singing this to Army of like, even though you think I am the star, to me, like you guys are the most beautiful thing. Um, yeah, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't cry. <laughs> fucking chose. So, in this way, the astronaut is going to the moon. He's going off to the military. So that's how I interpret Aww. this particular uh, song. It's really, uh, it got me through. Jin is my bias. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Whoa! has been my bias this whole time. All the entire time he's been in the military, he's been my bias. Um, and generally, that changes around a lot. Uh, I gotta say, J Hope was wrecking me. We talked about that last. We video. did. We did. Yeah. And he had some fire releases. But I love Jin. I think he's such a special human. <laughs> like he's so funny <laughs> and so beautiful. And I just really appreciate him. I think there was a quote in the book. I don't have it written down, but I'll say it and you guys can correct me. But it was basically like, I like living my life with no thoughts. And I'm like, I get that, man. Mm. <laughs> I get that. Like, if anyone was a Twitch streamer, he would be a Twitch streamer. Because he's done plenty <laughs> of lives playing video games and just hanging out. He does eat videos where he literally just eats with you. And it's so oh, that's great. nice and normal. <laughs> Um, and a little bit Delulu, which is always fun. But I also really like this song because I also like Coldplay. We all like Coldplay in here. We're biased. Yeah. But um, particularly in the uh, instrumentals, there's like a bend in the key for a sparkle in your eye. And that is the most beautiful, like, dip I did notice that. Musically. Yeah, that was cool. I will listen to the song over and over again just to get to that part. I cannot explain it. It just, it hits every time. Um, and something I think is really telling for BTS as a whole, not just Jin, but Jin's a good example, is that when artists seek out BTS to work with and then work with them eagerly, um, they always come back to work with them again. And I think that's very telling for them as like humans where obviously they're professional and they're enjoyable to be with or else people wouldn't continue going back. So Chris Martin working with them on My Universe, the Coldplay song, and then coming back to say, I want to work with you guys again. It's a big compliment. They're amazing. That's a big, that's a huge compliment. I feel like if you're... If you're an artist that wants to continually work with another artist, I think that's a huge, like, it's a huge, 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 huge compliment. So that's uh, yeah. really awesome to see. Halsey, of course. Halsey, yeah. Um, and you guys should go show her some love right now because she made some big announcements. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Max. Yeah, Max is. Yeah. I love Max. Shout out. Yeah. I listen to him all the time. I saw I saw people uh, 
in chat asking about like who everyone's biases were and then i was like looking down looking down looking down and then i see youthful's comment that just starts with steve aoki and i didn't put the like the out of context <laughs> statement in and i thought that youthful was saying steve aoki was his bts bias ah uh, yeah <laughs> me, me too <laughs> i love steve aoki the Steve eighth member Aoki. of BTS. <laughs> Steve Aoki Hyung. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My favorite member. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. All right, noted, noted. <laughs> noted. <laughs> BTS bias, Steve Aoki. We'll make sure to talk about Steve in, you know, when we, when we start to cover full BTS songs, you know? <laughs> Very cool. Uh <laughs> That was great. All right. Thank you for watching. The series isn't over. Uh, if you check the link on the screen right now, it'll take you to the next video in the series. So come join us for that. Uh, as well as that, if you want to come join us live on Twitch, uh, we do those every other Monday and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So come join us. There's going to be a link in the description to go check that out. But thank you for watching and go check out the next part. See you soon.